Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Oh, I've got the volume down. How are we all this morning? Just going to straighten up my... Sorry, guys. Just bear with me just a second. There we go. Sorry about that. How's everybody's morning going? Hey, Debbie and Michelle. So as part of the Great International Online Craft Show this weekend, I am doing live Facebooks every day, talking to you about some, some different techniques, some fun ideas, all sorts of bits and pieces. And I thought that today I would make a couple of cards using my new collage papers and using some Art by Marlene stamps. Um, something that something that um, is a little bit different to what I have normally done in a mixed media style, but showing you an alternative for, for making a super cute different sort of card uh, that is really fun and really adaptable for your own personal crafting. So for those of you playing along at home, if you jump online to nataliemay.com.au, you will find 15% uh, off stamps, stencils and dies for today only. Plus you'll also find 15% off of all of Art by Marlene products for this weekend and also Minte products as well. Um, so we've got Minte chipboard, uh, Minte 6x8 books. We've got some sustainable wood shapes out on clearance as well. We've got a whole bucket load of specials available. All right, so nataliemay.com.au, um, the Natalie May Scrapbooking Crafting Community on Facebook is a private little Facebook group that I encourage you to join where you find out about lots of deals and specials and competitions and all sorts of bits and pieces. You can follow me on Instagram and YouTube right there okie dokie i'm just going to hang that back up there let's crack into it so what i want to do today is i want to make a couple of different sort of cards for you uh, i'm going to start with making a a flippy card so this is this is one that i have created earlier and this is what i'm going to show you how to make today so it is a flippy card that's exactly what it is. It's kind of like this really cool little gatefold card. It is one that I learned in an online class last weekend or a couple of weekends ago working with some retailers. Um, but I'm going to change it, change it up today and I'm going to use my new rice papers to make it work for me. Um, you can use some papers from your personal stash that is a, a great way of using up your papers but what i want to do is i'm going to use some wide tape here and i'm going to stick down my collage papers to this and use my collage papers as a as a background um, instead of a patterned paper so this idea is working great in my head. So if it doesn't work, then you get to uh, come along for the ride. So I've just got some plain cardstock here and I'm going to stick some, I've got some wide um, double-sided tape and I'm going to stick on my collage papers to this. So the new collage papers that have come out in the last 12 hours are these guys here. Um, these are the new Natalie May scrapbooking designs and because I'm making a masculine card I've gone with some some colors that I think that will suit um, we've got this gorgeous blue we've got a purple paint we have a teal paint and a green paint uh, and I think I might actually go with the purple paint because it's not quite purple it's a little bit darker but I'm wanting to cut some pieces to go here and here 
and then I'll put a different color in the middle. So I might just trim this down. Good morning, Linda. Cut that down, pop it aside. Now, there's no reason why I can't use a double-sided tape for this purpose. So, um, like I said, I've got the wide double-sided tape here on some cardstock, and I'm just going to smooth that on. Turn it over, cut off the excess. And I'm going to do some heat embossing on this in a moment. So I'm going to use that one. So there's my first patterned paper. My second patterned paper, which is going to go in the middle section, I'm going to choose a different colour. So I'm going to expose my tape again. And the green, no, the teal, the blue, the blue. Do the same thing with the blue. Oh, and don't do that. Don't drop it on there accidentally. Perfect. So now that's nice and smooth and stuck down like a piece of paper. So you don't always have to use gel medium or an adhesive like that for sticking it down. You can do it that way. All right, let me just trim that back. Um, thank you, Linda. Linda's just complimenting us on our new rice papers. Rightio, so I'm thinking I might stamp some stars on this because I want this to go on the top and the bottom of my card and um, I'm just going to turn my fan off before I start with the embossing ink. I'm creating my pattern papers first. Uh, I'm going to use Got a piece of paper here to catch the excess embossing powder and I have got some white Lindy's Gang embossing powder so I could use any sort of stamp here I've got I've got an all and create star stamp which is uh, a lovely little stamp and I'm looking for not a perfect stamp I don't want it to be absolutely Actually, no, no. That would work splendid for stamping things on. What can also work is I've got my stencil. My stencil. And I'm going to use, that's a dirty one. Let me find a clean one. That's cleaner. All right. I'm going to use a blending brush and my stencil, my starred stencil, on my embossing ink. So I'm going to get in here. Oh, okay, so that wasn't clean. But you get the picture. Can I you grab your no, I've committed to it. And I'm not fussed about it not being perfect. So this is a clear embossing ink that is, I'm going to stamp some, or put some in clear embossing, uh, sorry, some white embossing powder over the top. Now you can't really see it, but what will happen, hopefully, when I tip on... No, you can see it. You can see it? Oh, you can see it. I need to look up at my screen. Um, okay, sprinkle this on. So heat embossing, we forget 
about using a lot. So I'm spreading it out. And so the embossing powder has stuck only to where I stenciled. So I'm just going to tap off any excess, give it a little blow, and this here I'm going to put straight back into the container and put the lid on before I accidentally spill it because that's a thing. All right. So there's no reason why you can't use your stencils and embossing powder. Sorry, I was just trying to grab my heat gun. And now I need to heat set that. So when we heat set it, we need to melt all of those crystals. Okay, so this will just take a moment to do. Just chat amongst yourselves. My heat gun is uh, looking very colour colourful. Nothing like dropping your heat gun into some paint and ow. Then having to commit to it. So what happens with your embossing powder is ow is that we need to melt all of those crystals. So the ink that we used, I used a clear embossing ink. So there's a few different brands that we have online uh, currently and they are all worthy black brands. Um, and I just used my blending brush through a stencil. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. And, um, and of course a heat gun is hot. So you can't use a hairdryer. A hairdryer is not gonna work for this purpose because a hairdryer, of course, is just gonna blow all the ink off. It's got too much air, not enough heat. And we are after heat to melt these crystals. And turning off your overhead fan while you're doing this, highly recommend it. And turn my fan back on. Right. So you can see that it's melted. And actually, you can see there's an area here that hasn't melted. But for argument's sake today, oh, let's just get it done. Radio. So that's done. Let's put the lid back on my embossing powder. Oh, I've got embossing powder now all through my computer keypad because we love that. My keyboard goes with the alcohol ink that I tipped through there yesterday. Radio. So I have created some pattern paper ready to go and I'm gonna put that one in the middle. Let's now go to our card. So I'm wanting to make a bit of a flappy sort of card. So I've got a long slimline style card here and I want to score Well, actually, I'm going to cut, but first of all, I might do, say, two and a half inches from there. And I'm going to do the same thing because I'm so terrible with measurements. I'm just going to mark another two and a half inch mark. And I'm going to score a line down there and then just use another score mark. So a little bit of measure and cut going on here. Now you can, if you have a, a trimmer, cut from there to there with your trimmer. I don't have a trimmer handy that is going to do that for me. So I'm going to use my scissors today, but we need to do two cuts. Now it's not showing up very well on camera, but I'm going to do a cut. I'm going to use my blade because I can. 
I'm going to do a cut down that line. And I'm going to do a cut down that line. So yes, if you had a paper trimmer that just went halfway, then this would be ideal. So what I'm going to do next is I'm now going to just put make these slits a little bit wider. So nothing more than taking a little off of here. And a little off of here. So now I have got a folder, three flaps. Righty oh, I'm gonna stick my papers on. So I'm going to oh bugger. I'm gonna do oh I didn't make it big enough. Okay, so plan B. Oh rats. Okay. That'll teach me. I've messed it up already, Louise. I know. It's not wide enough. Can't it go the other way? Yeah, but then I don't have enough to do the bottom piece. Middle? Mm. Mm. Oh, gosh. I was off to such a great start. Mm. You, know, you want the blank one in the middle, though. I know, I really do want the blank one in the middle, and I still messed that up. Oh, for goodness sakes. All right, plan B. Let's fix my mistakes. Three different ones. I can have three different ones. And the last one could be the last. Oh, you know what? I'll do a green. Okay, problem solved. Had a moment. I'll pop a green one. Or you know. So I'm gonna cut this piece here. Gotta love. Cut the card a bit thinner. Thanks, Isabel. Actually, that's not such a shabby idea. Oh, keep this. Will that work? Love this live problem solving, guys. Can you not just off? So if I do that one to there, there, so that one will go there. Oh, Isabel. You just made it to the list of my new favourite person for the day. We are problem solving live, okay? This is called working on the fly. So now I have a super thin card because I'm making my own paper and I didn't measure it before I made it. So anyway, right, so that's going to go onto there. So I'm going to trim that. So I'm just going to pencil. Cut, cut, just take a, a slither off of that. Oh, that could have gone bad, couldn't it? Anyway, moving on. That one goes there, so I need to trim this one down. like so and then just take a freckle off of there for that one to go there that one to go there oh you know what and i reckon i've still got that one wrong but that's okay because I'm going to do something else with it. So 
So this one here, we can go like that. So that's a little thin, because I messed that up. So I'm gonna do two strips, and I have a gap in the middle. So let's go with that. So it needs to be that width. Oh, sorry, I just realized that's off camera, my mistake. Yes, Kath, uh, Kath is a, um, a class on fixing oopsies because I am very uh, human. And although I do this for a living, sometimes you can't tell, and that's okay. Uh, I am very, uh, very good at working on the fly and making it work and showing you how you can fix your mistakes because that's what we all do in our own craft, isn't it? You've got to fix your own little furthies, as we like to call them. All right, so what I have done here, let's stick some of this down and I'm just gonna use some adhesive. Yes, Cherry, um, artistic license we're gonna call that. So we have got this one here, was at the top or the bottom? The bottom. You know what? I haven't finished my coffee. I think that is the problem. Bit of glue. So then I have some wriggle room. there and then I've got a little I'm going to overlap a, a strip and I'm going to put my sentiment through the middle to cover that um, to cover that up okay trim because a sentiment strip is as forgiving as a butterfly on a project. You know how butterflies solve everything? If you do a big smudge on a page, ah, oh, just stick a butterfly on it. Right, so I'm going to stick my sentiment strip there. And then this one, I'm going to do that. And then my sentiment strip will go through there. Perfect. Making it work. Okay, so if you were to use patterned paper, and I'll do another one in a minute, I've got a different card I wanna make as well. Um, patterned paper, I'll do one using that. So there we go, we've got strip, flip, flip, flip. So I'm gonna create the bases of my cards, then I'm gonna stamp my images and pop them on, all right? So that's, the base of the first card done. The second card I'm wanting to make is a different, you know, same but different. I'm gonna fold in half. I've got a piece here which is oh, a four and a quarter. Just gonna fold it in half. Then I'm gonna open it up again. And I'm going to take just down from here I'm going to score about an inch so that that folds up like that. And then I'm going to get some glue and I'm going to glue that down. Uh, 
Um, Cheryl's just come in and she's having a, uh, a few internet problems. The really cool thing about this is that you'll be able to go back and watch it again and I'm going to upload it onto uh, Facebook, uh, sorry, YouTube as well. So you'll be able to go back and watch it at any time. Uh, Tina's just asked a question. Is the glue refillable? No, but I do have a new shipment on the way. There will be a delivery uh, any day now of Art by Marlene top up of the of the glue. Okay, so you'll be able to grab another one, hopefully in about a week's time. All right, so what I've got here is I have gone through my paper stash this morning and pulled out a few older papers. They are a combination of all sorts of bits and pieces. I've just found some nice, bright pattern papers. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm going to cut a few pieces to fit in these gaps here. So that one goes there. Just gonna trim that down. So I am all about using the stuff that you have got at home a couple of days ago uh, being what day was that Thursday we did a, a live gratitude journal and a gratitude journal for those of you who don't know you'll be able to go back and watch it a gratitude journal is just the opportunity for you to write down something every single day that you are grateful for so uh, we created a gratitude journal live Uh, just trying to find some other pattern papers here. Kaiser Craft paper that I've had for 25 years. That one or that one? That one. And a gratitude journal is an opportunity for you to, yeah, use up those papers that for some bizarre reason you have been saving for a rainy day because we all do that we save those papers for when we think we might need them um, and then we forget that we've got them and then they're just sitting there taking up airspace taking up space in our lives uh, and you just don't you know you're not going to use it again so use it up so this this paper here that I have is exactly that it's just a super old paper um, and I will show you in a moment some really cool ones that we've got that would work perfect for this purpose. Dun, dun, dun. Pop that there. Might just stick a, another one in the middle. That'll do. that that's too wide trim it back that looks good so I am all about measure with measure mark with a pencil then cut I'm not one of these people who likes to you know measure to the centimeter um, nothing in my life works like that, so I'm certainly not going to work it with my crafting. But you could make your own pattern papers um, from the collage paper, just like we did earlier. You could quite easily paint something. Just use something from your stash, make it work for you. Alright, so we've got this cool little flappy thing going on here now. And then over here, I might just pop, let's put a slither of bright green down through the middle, hey? So 
So when these all come together, I might actually finish a project live on Facebook. What do you reckon? It's a bit of a novelty. for today has anyone got anything exciting planned where they are in the world here in Adelaide the Sun is out so far the humi uh, humidity is better than it has been um, yeah life's too short to measure paper Cheryl too bloody hard all right done 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 I mean, I do make mistakes because I don't measure, but, you know, poop happens. Uh, alrighty. So the next thing I think I might do, I'm just going to keep that piece there for a moment. So the next thing I want to do is I want to pull out my, some, do some stamping, get some stamp images happening, and talk to you about some ways of colouring as well. Um, I have got here the Art by Marlene Out of This World stamps set. These baby bots are very, very cute. And that's what they look like on the back. And I've also got the big bots. And that's what they look like on the back. Um, I also have here the Sending You Love set, which has got these awesome planets and some stars and some sentiments. It's also got some fe more feminine images on here as well. But I'm going to stamp using uh, some black archival ink and a stamp press. Um, sorry. You can use any sort of stamp press to do this. We sell, there's one um, online uh, currently, which is the perfect price point. There's a few different ones available uh, on the market. And I do love a stamp press because it will enable me to go back and, and fix it if I need to, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these big bots and I'm going to stamp one to show you how they look. So they are a clear stamp and what I do is I pop it down onto here like that. That's where I want it to go. Close it and it's going to stick to the acrylic. And what I then do is add some ink to this. So my ink, I'm just, I've got the Ranger Tim Holtz Distress Black Soot. And I'm just going to push it down like so. Now, if I don't get it right the first time like that, which I haven't put a whole lot of effort into it, the cool thing is I can go back and where it hasn't stamped perfectly in the middle, I can, I can put a bit of effort in and I can stamp it again. And now it's perfect. Actually, it's really perfect. It looks great. And then while that's on there, I just use a piece of paper towel. And wipe the ink off of that and I shall come back and clean that later. So these, these Art by Marlene stamps stamp absolutely just so, so very good. Uh, so very crisp. I'll do another one. 
And the magnets are very handy. You keep that in uh, in this in the right spot there to hold your paper in the right spot. I'm going to do this little guy. So that's where I want it to go. That's where I want it to go. Put that down. It sticks to it. Get my ink on. Voila. And I might also do, while I am here, while I'm stamping, I might just quickly do a couple of sentiments. Uh, let's think about this. What sentiments do I want to do? I don't really have any handy. Let me just grab something. I have got here my Just Be Kind stamp set and I'm just going to use the words Just Be Kind. Okay, and I'm going to, I'm wanting it to go there. So with a red rubber stamp, it works exactly the same. Get my ink on. And I haven't stamped it properly, so I can go back in and reapply. And it helps if you reapply the ink to the right part of the stamp. And I'm going to do another one. And that's good enough for me. And I'm going to cut those out. So that's my uh, Just Be Kind stamp set for the Natalie May scrapbooking ones. So just a friendly reminder, the Natalie May scrapbooking products are not on special today. Okay, anything with the Natalie May scrapbooking uh, brand on it, um, we don't pop those on special. We generally don't as a rule. that off I'm going to need that in a moment right so just to show you how lovely and crisp and clear they are check that out perfect and lovely and black and sharp and it's nothing more than just taking a second to to, to wait and do it here's some I prepared earlier so that you didn't have to watch me cut them out I have done a couple of big ones and a couple of small ones. And you can color them with anything that you like. I have chosen to color these in Copic markers. Uh, and I'm not too sure if you are aware, but we do sell Copic markers um, online. Now, I have not used Copic paper. I have not used... Uh, this is just the normal paper that we normally make, uh, that I normally make cards out of. So I am not doing any fancy blending or anything like that. I am just using these purely to, to colour in, only because I didn't think it through. But you could quite easily use coloured pencils, any sort of textures, but I wanted something nice and bold and bright. So uh, using the Copic markers is, um, is what's going to work for me. I'm not after perfection. I'm after some nicely coloured images. Okay, so simple as that. So I'm just going to take a second to go through and colour these in while you tell me all about your day so far. How does that sound? So the stamps are uh, on special at 15% off Art by Marlene. There are some fab fabulous Lucky Dips available as well from the Art by Marlene collection, from the Out of This World collection. So for example, this um, 
this collection that we are we're using here, this Out of This World collection, is her latest current release um, that is available now. And we have got all of these items on 15% off. Um, within the Lucky Dip bundle, what we have done for you is bundled together some stamps or a stamp, a die, and a stencil from the same collection. So they're all going to coordinate together. Now, to give you a bit of an idea, we have discounted these down by 15%, oh, sorry, by over 15%. So we are talking $36 for the bundle. And it's got $62, $61, $62 worth of products in it for that one price of $36. Bucks. I think I've got that right. So just adding a few little colour spots. And I'm going to leave some white as well. Because white, white always gives it a pop and some dimension. So there's my three there. Excuse my alcohol, alcohol ink blob from a couple of days ago. Uh, this guy here, I'm going to... So this one I, I coloured using um, a grey and a blue. So I'll do the same thing again and show you how I've done that. Um, and I'm just going to grab the colour and just flick it. So if any of you are interested, we do have a very limited range of Copic markers available online. And I've picked up one here that is almost empty and needs to be refilled. Um, so I do have, yes, some Copic markers online and the Copic markers are, are discounted as well. Uh, because I won't be stocking them any longer. So uh, there's a, a huge range of, of copics that we've got available. Uh, and chow markers and um, sketch markers. So, and I also sell the copic paper as well. Right, so now, even though I'm not using blending card, I'm just gonna flick in from that side and blend them all together. We also sell the uh, Memento ink, which is the ink pad that you need to use with alcohol markers. Um, a lot of people don't realise that alcohol markers will not last very long if you don't use the correct ink for stamping your images. So the Memento ink, the black Memento ink in tuxedo black, is the ink that you need to use so that you don't ruin your markers, all right? So just a little bit there, and then I'm going to go in and do his... And if you get stuck for inspiration, you can just refer to the back here and go, how did they colour them there? So I'm just going to do that. And then his head is going to go like that. And then we're just going to stick all of these bits down. What's the time? Quarter past. 45 minutes. Well, that would have gone quicker if I'd cut the paper properly, wouldn't it? Let's be honest. So the no judgment postage is uh, the special that we have been running for a couple of years when we do an online show. So for those of you who don't know about our um, online, uh, sorry, our no judgment postage, it is the special that is only available when we do the events. So what it is, is you need to pay $12.50 for postage. Postage is $12.50 or $18 for express. And what we do is if you want to add to your order that you've already placed, you placed an order yesterday, for example, or you have um, 
there's you know something else that you want to order today and you, you've found it on the website or you've now realized I sell Copic markers and you want to buy some Copic markers but you've already placed an order what you do on your second third fourth order is you select no judgment at the checkout and what happens then is for one dollar we will bundle your orders together now some of you have gone through in the last couple of days and placed orders and not chosen $12.50 for your postage and just jump straight into the no judgment. What we will do if you have missed that is we will flick you a invoice for $12.50 for postage. We will be in touch so that um, you, can, you can make that payment then. Okay, of course postage is not free. Postage still costs us $12.50 so um, it's still going to be exactly the same. All right, so we're getting getting a little bit of color on here, a little bit of detail, coloring in these little spots. Gee, I'm certainly glad I took a moment to cut these out before starting, otherwise you'd still be watching me. Pop a little green in for highlight down the side here. And around here and give him a green eyeball he's a robot and it doesn't really matter what color he is all right I'm happy with that so let me bring these up to camera to show you put them on a piece of white so that you can see because we're gonna stick those down and then pop a sentiment on so they're not fabulous works of art but they don't need to be because I'm not doing this to impress you, I'm going doing this to make a beautiful handmade card for little boys. Radio. All, all, all girls, or whichever gender you choose to go with. Um, let's stick these babies on. So I want to have him here, him here, and I reckon I might foam tape these. What do you think? I think that's a splendid idea. So then they stand out more and it's got a little bit of a pop to it. One. More foam tape. Two. That one, I need to colour his eyeballs in. That's better. I don't know why I needed to do that. All right, that one's gonna go there. And then I need to pop my sentiment through here. So I've got my Just Be Kind that I, I stamped a little earlier using my stamp press. the other one while I'm at it. So we've got a great range of stamps available at 15% off today as well. So we're talking about um, Ball and Create, Dina Wakely, we have got Dilusions, we've got Altenu, We've got a huge, huge range of, of stamps, um, alphabet stamps, background stamps, flower stamps, card making stamps, mixed media stamps. Sorry, I just realized I was doing that off camera again. Um, we have got something to suit everyone and Stencils the same. Stencils are also at 15% off for today only. Tomorrow we're going to be having a new special, okay? And tomorrow's special is going to be equally wonderful. I'm not going to tell you what it is because that takes the surprise out of it. Uh, and I've got, um, yeah, we've got a huge range. So the other thing that I just want to point out as well is we will be posting out orders Monday, Tuesday, next week. If you live locally, you live here in Adelaide and you want to pick up your order, 
your order will be um, available for collection uh, from Wednesday 10 till 3. We have a collection point in the front foyer um, where we are, there'll be a, a contactless pickup point. So if you don't want to come in, whoops, you don't want to come in, you don't have to, um, but your order will not be available to collect until then, okay? Um, simply because we're going to have to we check off all the orders first. That's the first thing we do, is we go through and make sure everything's in in the orders, in the bags, ready to go. And then, of course, we wrap them ready for you, which is our favourite bit. Who's watching? Tracy, I'm impressed. Oh, thank you, Tracy. I'm glad that I've made your morning. So if you have some patterned papers in your stash, some boy papers, you could easily, oh, splendid. You could easily use some nice bright papers to, darn, um, to do this sort of card. You could, you, there's so many really cool things you could do here. All right. But we're nearly done, so we're going to stick our rocket ship there. And I could pop this guy in the middle, right? So that you open that one up and then you've got a little robot head. He looks like he's got a hangover, mind you. All right. You could make that a pocket to slide a gift card in. Oh my God, that's a great idea. <gasps> so how would you do that? Put a piece of double-sided tape down there and a double-sided tape down there and then you've got a gift card pocket oh sorry every now and again i just float my own boat and have a fabulous idea and think yep that's brilliant but i want to pop these on here and then i'm going to pop that up the top up there Okay. So if you had a happy birthday stamp, that would be great. If you had a sorry your cat died stamp, that would also be great. You could use whatever stamp you like. Sorry that your budgie passed away. Sorry that or congratulations on starting your new job. Happy birthday, you little rock star. You could pop anything on. So I'm gonna pop one robot down flat and I'm going to foam tape the other robot and So have a bit of a think about some of those patterned papers that you've got at home that for some bizarre reason you are saving for a rainy day. Because I know you're doing it. Can't take them with you when you go, girls. Got to use those papers up. They're not too pretty to cut up. Just cut up the paper. Cut up the paper. Make the cards. Use the, use the paper on a layout. Make room for new paper. More importantly. All right, enough talking. Here we go. Let's bring it up here. So we've got this cool little flap. I can write my bits in the middle. You see how that bit's stuck down from here to here? Okay. And then this one is the triple flappy. Okay, and like the idea that I just had a, like a, a, a second ago, you could put some double-sided tape down here and down here. So to seal that, to make a gift card so that you can slide something into there and make a pocket. That's a bloody good idea. Great little boy's card. 
So we used my brand new paper in the background here, my collage paper. We heat embossed it for the stars, but if you wanted to, you could use something like this All and Create stamp to stamp some stars on it. Um, this would be great. <laughs> um, I'm just reading Rosie's comment there about covering a coffin in pattern paper. Um, so, and then we use the, the plain collage paper in the middle. And you could make this card a standard DL sort of, you know, size, Australian slimline or whatever size you like, all right? The images I stamped in um, black archival ink and just use some textures to cover colour those in. Um, as you can see, they do the job. They're a little rough and ready there, um, but you get the gist of it. That's it from me, girls. I'm going to love you and leave you. Sorry about my fat arm there. Um, jump online to nataliemay.com.au and you will find 15% off stamps, stencils and dyes today online only. Um, you can follow me on Instagram and you can replay this on YouTube where you can subscribe to my channel. Um, we have some amazing other pr um, projects or items on special, Minte chipboard books, okay, they're about 20% off. Um, we have some sustainable wood shapes. These are $7 each, normally around the $10 mark each. The Minte 6x8 books, which are the fabulous for fussy cutting images, you will find those at $10 each. We also have, whoops, some uh, Art Bar Marlene watercolours. We've got the shimmery, sparkly bright ones and the neon ones. They're normally $42.50, I think, and we've got them down for $33.60. All Art by Marlene products are 15% off. And the packets of rhinestones, for those of you who love sparkly things, these are normally $19, and we've got them out for $14 while stocks last. So thank you very much to everyone for tuning in today. Um, I'm going to take some photographs of these, link the items that we used um, in the comments, and I look forward to seeing you back again at 1.30 today for an art journal page uh, using my new collage papers. Wash your hands, kiss your kids, wear a mask, chat to you soon.